what's happening everybody just finished landing on my second destination closer to home goodbye texas and i'm checking the news as always and i gotta tell you they hate us they really hate the crypto industry and i'm here to tell you what is going on because you probably are aware that the united states department of justice wants to charge binance because of fraud wants to create a big massive case against them and you know what was Cece's response for let's talk about it don't forget to smash your like button everybody and welcome i am in charlotte south carolina so very happy and blessed traveling looking at everything but this is a this is a subject everyone that i really care because you know anti-crypto army led by senator elizabeth warren then we have the sec with gary gensler and obviously they have an agenda there's one thing is binance doing wrongdoing is binance did they know that they were doing something bad back in the day and now they're gonna be paying for it well if that's true eventually the united states is not gonna let them just get a free pass that's one but on the other hand there's a lot of people and a lot of institutions, Coinbase included, and many lawmakers, guys, that would just wanna turn the page and move on and finally be the leader in crypto. And I know, I think, out of all the countries in the, U in the world, CC is, is looking at us saying, when are they gonna let me prevail, produce, build? Because he's only just fighting in court, spending, millions of dollars with lawyers and suits and in a way i don't think that's the best way to spend resources i might be wrong but that's just the case and i'm just looking at it i'm, I'm looking different kind of views and the way that it looks like this is just barely the beginning so in a way for all my chronos holders my crypto that coming out coinbase even the fact that crow hasn't been asked by anyone the cftc and the sec and the department of justice that's amazing having great leadership really helps and doing the things right since the very beginning right but with binance the last time the last thing we heard was well there's a battle in court but now the united states department of justice is coming in and investigating there's some rumors right now there, these are just rumors but it's on watch your guru it's on twitter and you know that we talk about it because i mean there's some leakers right insiders they come out tell everybody and right now the price of bitcoin down the price of bnb down as well came up a little bit but the fear bnb dropped from 300 dollars all the way to 220 and right now it's 240 more or less which means guys it's gonna be an eventful august when it comes to regulation and oversight we know that the last week two bills for crypto framework were passed so there's the effort of let's make it right i also saw yesterday if i'm not mistaken that the sec put out some guidelines when it comes to rules to follow that's good but you know it kind of comes a little late and now everyone kind of looking at cc and binance saying if we're gonna drown someone if someone is gonna be our our our, our target for right now it's gonna be binance and it's gonna be challenging for cc to overcome this obstacle we know that in a way they left netherlands belgium canada like belgium they had problems canada and some other different countries so binance in a way there's some issues right there because they're not able to get the licenses right that you require to sell your products this is these are all facts crypto.com other on the other hand they just got netherlands and that was a big massive victory so I'm trying to give you fairness, right? On one side, we know Dubai was granted to Binance just recently. I believe it was yesterday or the day before. That was awesome, which is good for the entire crypto industry. Whether it's Binance, Crypto.com, Coinbase, Gemini, I want us to grow and adopt because that's how you and I make more money in the long term because we want more people. Remember, what is the number? on-chain users right now according to coinbase protocol lead less than 10 million 10 years from now possibly 8 billion that's what he said the point that i'm trying to make is we are extremely early guys 
and I'm relaxing whether you whether you think or not. Yes, because I love crypto no matter where, where I am. We talk about it, we see the news and the price is not doing anything, right? Not really, it's, I, I, I'm still happy and I get pumped, but the prices, I'm at least okay that I can still buy more positions while I wait the prices that are consolidated, that are boring, you know what I'm saying? Gotta move right here a little bit. Let me, let me give you a little bit of a, of a view here in Charlotte, South Carolina. If you're from South Carolina or, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm traveling with my wife. Some people in the previous video were like, what's your wife? It's right there. She just got a little bit tired. We had to walk from Terminal B all the way to Terminal E. So it was a little bit, <laughs> but um, it's fun, you know, taking the family out. Um, I'm probably, it doesn't, I don't even know why I'm, why I'm saying this, but this get personal a little bit. Um, this year is gonna be beautiful to expand the family. That's all I gotta say. So visiting my parents before that, before, you know, we make those big decisions. So we come back and we send it home. So I'm enjoying this time, fam. Find your why. I'm honestly just enjoying this myself right now because I already put a lot of money in 2021, 2022. I'm waiting. I'm buying, like I bought a lot. So whatever you do, make sure, number one, number one rule, if you're watching right now, do not put money on exchanges. But Oscar, you promote crypto.com. Let me say it. Go to, go to a place where you hold your keys, your wallet. I do it on DeFi wallet, crypto.com, so it's mine, it's my money. And I know it's extremely sexy and attractive and easy, convenient to put money on exchanges because I've done it. But I have, have two bags that I cannot reach because I left my money there. One on hardware investing and another one on Gemini Earn. That was my mistake and then I, you know it if, you, if you've been watching the channel. So the point that I'm trying to make, these are the times when you wanna go buy the bear prices, which actually they're not even the bear prices. The bear prices were at the beginning of the year 2023. Right now it's the semi light bearish prices. So that's, that's my view of this. You know where I'm heading and I'm bringing you with me to South Carolina, almost there. And I'm heading to Columbia right now. So blessed, excited. I know CC is gonna be fine. I know Binance is gonna be fine, but we're just gonna find a lot more FUD, like I'm saying, a lot more speculation and uh, just be ready for the volatility because we're gonna get better inflation news, data, hopefully rate pauses, and it's all gonna come back up. I'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you for watching Oscar Raft. Peace.